एस बी संगड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कैड इज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोर्स एडवांस ऑटोमोबाइल डिजाइन एंड इन यूनिट नंबर वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लेसन नंबर फाइव दैट इज कानो मॉडल ऑफ कस्टमर सैटिस्फैक्शन सो विल सी वॉट इज दिस नाउ बिफोर गोइंग फॉर एक्चुअल स्लाइड वील हैव वन केस see uh, when you know <clears throat> the first part uh, of any launch of any product is to take the customer survey so company first takes the customer survey and they <clears throat> takes the whether there is demand whether customer really wants this product or not but the problem is that when you take the customer survey many people will say that i want all the features so when you going to ask what do you want in your car they will tell you i want air conditioning system i want sunroof i want automatic wipers and everything because uh, it is very easy for people to tell whatever they want whatever they think but that is not practically possible because if you just uh, try to include all these things what i discussed here like automatic air conditioning system automatic wipers sunroof and everything in an entry level car the price will go up so it is not practically possible so the only option is to eliminate those particular features from your car but <clears throat> doing so if you eliminate everything no one will purchase you so the <clears throat> design team of car faces great dilemma about the features which feature is to be retained that is provided and which feature is not to be provided in car how to decide this this is very very critical point and for that <clears throat> kano model is used you can see um kano model basically classifies the product attributes based on how they are perceived by customers their effect on customer satisfaction and these classifications are useful for gui guiding design decisions in that they indicate when good is good enough and when more is better so that means which feature is to be provided and which feature is not to be provided so to judge this particular thing to assess this particular requirement normally kano model is used so i'll show the kano model diagram i'll go to the next slide just wait <coughs> okay you can see here this is the typical kano model diagram this is kano diagram now there are three graphs you can see there is one graph here baseline expectations one graph here the linear satisfier and one graph here that is delighter now just consider o only one graph at a time i have drawn three axes at a time but actually consider only one and before that i will explain what are the axes so this horizontal axis that is the x axis indicates degree of implementation of any feature what is that i will explain later on so this is extent of application of any feature for example average how much average you want so more the average you go on this side similarly this is the satisfaction level of the people how satisfied people are on your product what is the customer satisfaction how happy people are on your product on this side there is positive satisfaction that means people are highly satisfied on lower side from this particular horizontal this is the zero point people are dissatisfied that means people are angry on your product they are not liking your product they hate your products okay so <clears throat> with this introduction now focus on baseline expectations okay just uh, wait a minute i will erase all the inks and again i'll go back okay now only focus this baseline just wait a minute it went off okay only focus this baseline expectation now what are these baseline expectations these are must haves that means whenever people think of any product these particular requirements must be there people are not even thinking about that for example very simple nowadays when you purchase any phone people expect that there is camera in that so today we can call camera as a baseline expectation people assume that it must be there they don't demand it they no more demand it so they expect there will be a camera phone in your uh, camera in your mobile phone similarly air conditioning systems so when you purchase any car when people try to purchase any car they assume that the ac will be there in old days like 20 years ago ac was additional part so you pay more and you will get ac but today ac is baseline it is must and so on similarly when you go for any hotel you expect that there is wifi system provided wifi or network provided so we expect that it is must have the wifi must be there what is to be asking that so this is like baseline expectation now you can see here <clears throat> just observe this nature of this curve the graph this starts here it goes here and after some time it becomes parallel to horizontal axis this is important 
what does that mean so baseline expectation attributes the attributes which are baseline expectations if you don't provide that means if you reduce the degree of implementation like here people are highly dissatisfied do you understand here people are highly dissatisfied those are very angry on your product and that creates very negative publicity as you go on increasing the satisfaction improves but in this case if you implement too much on this side people are no more ad additionally satis satisfied okay so this graph becomes horizontal that means even if you implement any feature to very great extent people are no more happy but if you don't provide people will be angry but if you provide more people will not be happy so what is this important you select the point on this graph somewhere here and you stop designing your part particular part at that time i'll give with example you take example of brakes obviously brake brake is baseline expectation each and every passenger or every customer expect that there must be brakes available you cannot advertise like uh, our car has brake do you understand okay now brake is baseline expectation one thing is clear second point just take example of formula 1 brakes formula 1 brake can stop the formula 1 car at speed of 300 kilometers within 2 3 seconds okay now when you talk about normal production car the brake will <coughs> normally take 10 seconds to stop so degree of implementation of braking is very high in formula 1 cars and that is obviously slightly low in <coughs> passenger cars now if you try to improve suppose your uh, 10 seconds is here and if you try to implement the technology used in formula 1 car at this particular point what will happen your car will stop at 2 seconds but cost will go very high will people be happy they will not be happy if you don't provide brakes people will be angry if you provide normal brakes people will be okay but if you provide formula one brakes people will not be happy more happy they will say that i don't require that why are putting that because i just i am not i am happy with 10 meters stopping distance or 10 seconds stopping uh, time i don't require two seconds uh, time to stop my car so why should i pay more for this particular thing which i don't want so for this baseline expectation you just take some appreciable figure and stop designing there so this is all about baseline expectation now what are the baseline expectation i just told you uh, now right now cameras are baseline expectation in phones similarly people expect that there should be ac in car people expect that there should be <clears throat> automatic windows central locking all these things have become baseline expectations okay now you think on linear satisfier this one and if you see the graph it is linear going in this direction so what does that mean these are the parameters which if you in increase more this will give more satisfaction from the customer so more implementation of this particular satisfier more happy will be the people what are the examples of this now one example that i will give the resolution of camera camera is based on expectation it's okay but resolution of camera is linear satisfier for example 8 megapixel and 12 megapixel people will be more happy for 12 megapixel people will be still more happy with 16 megapixel and so on and people are ready to pay some more amount if if they are getting something better you take example suppose your budget is say 85 80000 rupees and you are trying to purchase a bike okay now fuel efficiency suppose one bike gives you 60 kilometers per liter of fuel and another bike gives you 75 kilometers per liter of fuel okay the and fuel efficiency is linear satisfier more fuel efficiency more happy will be people so what people will do they are ready to pay 10 15000 rupees more for the bike which gives them 75 80 kilometers per liter of average compared to 60 kilometers per of average because that average comes in linear satisfier now my question to you i'll just just stop or pause this video and just tell me few more examples of linear satisfier that is your task right now you can search it uh, one example i told was fuel efficiency then another example was resolution of cameras and so on so there are hundreds of examples in day to day uh, products so just do that activity okay i'll continue so more you implement more people will be happy and they are ready to pay some extra amount now the thing is that how much amount they are ready to pay extra that you just take take into account and you just implement this particular feature and the last part is uh, delighters these are the attributes or features in your car which people do not expect okay for example suppose <clears throat> you are purchasing entry level car like alto maruti alto 
or any other car and suppose company gives you sunroof that is delighted because the segment in which the customer is purchasing that is entry level that particular customer is not expecting this feature in that car so this is with the delighter and you just observe the uh, shape of this curve if you don't provide people are not angry on you those are happy again but if you provide that people will be much much happier so that is delighter factor so those those are surprised and if you could provide this delighter that will be very good because there will be very great amount publicity the brand value will improve and people say that i am getting this this thing okay so what are the examples uh, providing the sunroof system for entry level car providing the automatic wiper for mid segment car so people are not expecting that and if you provide that will be the added point and people will be much more happier than that but but if you don't provide there is no problem you can see here this this the entire graph starts above this horizontal axis so if you don't provide people are okay they are happy already but if you could provide that feature people will be much much happier so you should always focus on these delighters but the main point that you should focus is the cost at what cost we can add delighters and companies are always trying to add these delighters in their new products keeping the cost reasonably same okay and these are few uh, innovative additions to the car it can be anything it can be new color also or new shades dual tone shades synthetic leather for entry level cars uh, <clears throat> then it can be a sunroof system it can be automatic if you provide the automatic uh jack for the uh, wheels then that can be a delighter people do not don't expect that okay and this is the delighter and you should always focus on this delighters this is the important point but on, only thing is that you should be able to check the cost again you can pause the video and just tell me more delighters i just discussed just pause the video and just try to answer the more number of delighters for any automobile car Okay, that's all for this particular thing. Thank you.